Women in wedding gowns flanked Democratic lawmakers on Capitol Hill to honor Gladys Reichardt, a woman who in 1999 was shot and killed by her ex-boyfriend as she prepared to walk down the aisle to marry another man. The group is pushing for the renewal of the Violence Against Women Act. BAWA must be passed. Democrats want to expand the law, which expired earlier this year, by closing what they call the boyfriend loophole. VAWA allowed law enforcement to remove firearms from abusive husbands and domestic partners, but not from boyfriends. Democratic lawmakers say abusive boyfriends can be just as dangerous. Michigan Congresswoman Debbie Dingell warns anyone can be a victim of domestic violence, and she's become a vocal advocate because of her personal experience. I thought it was normal. I thought it was normal for parents to scream. I thought it was normal for people to point guns at each other. And I remember the night, there was more than one night, but the night I kept my parents from killing each other. Dingle says domestic violence creates a dangerous cycle. Her sister also became a victim. She was married to a very bad man, and he broke every bone in her face. Senate Republicans blocked the expansion of the law, and groups like the NRA also oppose expanding the law to include dating partners, saying the move is a thinly veiled gun control attempt. In Washington, Alexandra Limon.